What's up friends? Uh, today I'm kind of throwing you guys a, a little review of sorts. I'm getting ready to go on a big trip abroad in another country. Um, and I was getting my kit together and I thought, man, I'm going to get some new socks for this trip. So I thought I'd do uh, throw you guys a little something something about my thoughts on socks, or at least socks for hiking, backpacking, adventuring, that sort of thing. Now, a ton of years ago, uh, over 20, uh, I was a Boy Scout, and I got gifted some socks uh, from my Auntie Jean, and those were my first socks purpose-made for hiking. They were made out of wool, they were itchy as shit, and you had to wear a liner with them. All right? Nowadays, uh, I am still hiking in wool, and I think that's your best option, uh, hands down, for socks, for adventuring, are wool. Several different reasons. One, wool will keep you warm when it's wet. Awesome. Wool, wool will wick the moisture away from your skin. Awesome. Modern wool is not itchy. Super awesome. Modern wool is blended with nylon or lycra or, or some kind of synthetic material. Gives a little bit of stretch, which is neat because then they stay up on your leg uh, like you're used to, and they don't fall down, and they don't make you feel like a, an old man who's got to wear sock garters. So, super good, right? These are a couple of socks I've had for quite a while. Uh, the Smart Wool are, I think, about 70% wool. REI is about 78%. In terms of warmth, they're both about the same. Um, these kind of feel a little better on day two. Uh, can't really tell you why, because for all intents and purposes, these should be the exact same sock. So it could be just in my head, placebo effect, because uh, I like other smart wool products. I might be like, oh, I want to wear the small, smart wool ones. Uh, these are some liners. They're just REI brand uh, liners, and they are uh, synthetic material. Uh, and a lot of people tell me with these newer socks, uh, you don't have to wear these liners. Uh, but I say, man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Take some liners with you. They really, really, really do help to prevent blisters. They give you this extra layer that's uh, smooth, that your foot kind of glides in in between. You know, where, where there would be a hot spot, there would be rubbing, you're getting a, a gliding motion. Think of this as lubricant for your sock. Now, some people, they say, don't even wear these. Just coat your fucking sock in grease or... Uh, Vaseline and then put it in the sock and then you won't get blisters that way. I'll tell you what, these work as well as that. I've never in my life gotten a blister from hiking um, and I say it's because I've always worn, I was always taught to wear a good quality liner. And who the fuck wants a goddamn foot full of Vaseline and grease when you're out on the trail? You get sand or some horse shit like that in there? That's terrible. Uh, to me. It sounds terrible to me. It sounds like a crazy thing. I'd rather wear a tinfoil hat on my head than dip my toe or my whole foot in grease and then put it in a sock. Terrible. I, I cannot tell you my opinion is any less truthful than that other than that sounds like a completely crazy thing to do. <sighs> All right. Anyway. Uh, these two socks are, are, like I said, they work really well, um, but I've seen some new stuff out on the market, and it was kind of time you could tell that these are, like, pilling uh, quite a bit. Uh, I've had these for a while. Um, they'll probably get retired uh, and just be, like, around-the-house socks in the winter and keep my feet warm. Uh, but uh, you can probably still get a fair amount of use for them, uh, out of them. Uh, wool socks last a long time. All right, so again with the liners, um, they're not wool, so they do tend to stink. Uh, you know, if you wear them multiple days. Whereas wool, man, you can wear that shit a few days, no smell. Wool is naturally anti-microbial, uh, and it fights off stink, which is why wool is great for base layers. Uh, these are not. So the answer to that is I found these. These are made by a company called Icebreaker. They're uh, merino wool, and they're wool liners. So, 
are supposed to be super soft next to the skin. Uh, they're not as one thing, and you know, it's not, I don't want to say a worry, but because I haven't obviously opened these up, I haven't put them on, I haven't really tested them out. I wanted you guys to be able to see the packaging on these. Um, they don't feel as slick. I mean, these feel like greasy almost, you know, like they're really slick. So your foot is sliding around in there, not creating blisters. Now these say that, you know, you won't get blisters. We'll see. I'll put them to the test and I will let you guys know. Uh, next up, uh, is a new company to me, uh, called Darn Tough. They're out of Vermont. I got two pairs of their socks right here. Um, and these are again uh, wool socks. Oh, by the way, just side note: wool base layers, anything that's meant to wick sweat away from your body, do not, do not repeat. Do not put any kind of fabric softener in with them. Fabric softener works the same way as hair conditioner does, and it will coat the fabric fibers in that you know, gunk uh, in order for it to feel soft to the touch to you, okay? Uh, you're already paying for, you know, base layers and things like that to feel soft. We don't need to worry about, you know, doing fabric softening. You're going to kill, K-I-L-L, -L, you will kill dead the ability for this to wick sweat away from your body if you wash your base layer type stuff in uh, with the... Uh, Fabric softener, okay? Anyway, new company, Darn Tough, out of Vermont. One really cool thing about these socks is right there, if you can read that, lifetime guarantee. And that is a no questions asked, lifetime guarantee. Uh, your uh, Labrador pit bull eats a hole in these socks, send them back to Darn Tough, and they send you a new pair of socks. It's pretty awesome. So uh, I'm, I'm always for a company that stands behind their... Uh, uh, product and it sounds to me like uh, like they're they're definitely one of them so they have a, a similar guarantee to like EC knives these are the EC knives of socks if you can break them they'll fix them or send you new ones um, so these are 67 percent merino wool 29 percent nylon and four percent night lycra which is spandex all right so they feel pretty nice I like them uh, I'm looking forward to using them. I obviously, uh, they're still in the package, so I can't tell you anything more about these other than what I feel with my hands and what I read on the package. But I will be putting these to, uh, to the test on my trip. So uh, just for reference later, the darn tough socks. Um, next, I have a familiar, uh, familiar brand, Smart Wool. I got some of these Smart Wool PhD. It's their fancy schmancy uh new socks they look a little sleeker uh a little uh, a little fancier than uh the old ones that you just saw and uh it says right here the highest degree of performance so i read that and i was like we'll see about that smart wool we'll see about that anyway so these are uh their outdoor socks it's uh got a little cushion rating over here. It's a four out of five uh, on the cushion, so they should be pretty good for backpacking, which is what I'm going to be doing. Um, and they're like in the 70s uh, range of the merino split. It doesn't say on the package, but I, I did look it up online. It's it's in the 70s range. Uh, I also got these, also part of their PhD line, also the highest degree of performance. And these are mountaineering socks. Um, and I'm going to throw up air quotes: mountaineering socks. Uh, I'm not going to be mountaineering in these, but they do go all the way up to your knee, and I thought, man, uh, where I'm going is probably going to be cold at least one night, and I'm going to take these socks, and these are these can kind of be like, you know, adding an extra layer of warmth uh, to my body with uh, with my base layer and my pants, and I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, they're like basically just knee-high socks that are performance and you know, 75% wool. Um, so those are new smart wool socks. I got those uh, REI brand uh, that I, I showed you before. They don't really, they're pretty much making the, the same socks. I didn't really see anything different. And by the way, 
you know, these might not be any different than the other smart wool socks that I showed you. Um, they might just be uh, a couple dollars more and look cooler. Um, so I kind of wanted to test that out, which is why I bought these. Um, we also have uh, Dahlgren. This is a new company to me. I'll let you see the package. Yeah. Whoop. All right, Dahlgren. If you notice, it says Alpaca on it. Uh, now, if you feel these socks, um, I would say that uh, the Darn Tough and the Smart Wool feel about equal softness. Maybe the Darn Wool's a, Darn Tough's a, a little bit less soft than the Smart Wool's. And these, man, these are like silky smooth. Um, and Alpaca, which I'm a big fan of Alpaca, it's naturally nearly waterproof um, and insulates like wool. Uh, I'm a big fan of it, and uh, these are just super soft. I mean, you feel them, and they're super soft. Now, these aren't entirely uh, alpaca. They're wool, and uh, like a lot of these socks, um, they're, uh, they're wool in the like bottom part where you really need it, this part right here. Um, and they're, uh, the uppers are more polyester than the bottom part where your foot actually is, is in the shoe. Um, but this is a wool alpaca blend, and it also has uh, polyester and nylon in there, and spandex uh, to give you that stretchy stretch, and fit you for a long time, and hold these up. So I'm really excited about those. Uh, I've heard a lot about these. Uh, people, Some people wrote me in, and they were like, you got to try these Dahlgren socks. And I was like, I will. And bam, I got them. Your uh, answer, you've been answered. Okay, so I'm going to take all these socks backpacking and I will let you know what I think of them. Um, maybe the old socks that I had before are just as good. Maybe I was schnookered uh, into buying fancy socks. Um, but they, they feel good and I'm excited. So I'm going to see you guys uh, in the next blog on the next trip. I almost forgot. Don't forget to live wild and eat well. Alright freaks, I'll see you later.